Alright, for the first question, the question asks how to define the dividend per share, right? Okay, first, we need to know how much the earnings is needed to finance the new project. So, since the question said that the project will, will be financed entirely by earnings, so the earnings for the company is 1 million and 600,000. Right. So the project, the cost of the project is 800,000. So the 1.6 million, the return earning, deduct with the cost of the new investment, which is 800,000. Then we have the remaining of 800,000, which is for the dividend. So to find, okay, that's the amount of dividend, right? And then the situation, uh, oh, it's so, how we want to would like to know the dividend share, right? So, the, the 800,000, which is the amount of dividend, we need to divide by the amount of the outstanding share. The number of shares? Yeah, uh, the company have, which is 240,000 shares. So, 800,000 divided with 240,000, we get RM, we get and 33 cents. Question B is about the repair issue. Yeah. So it means that the dividend is eight hundred thousand. Yeah. Then from the it is uh we divide by the repair annual, which is one point six million, and then we get two cents. Yeah. The next question is about the stock dividend and stock split. Stock dividend is when we. The dividend is uh, instead of cash, the company gives the stockholders stock. So, the capitalization basically. Uh, so, basically, okay. capitalization that affects the number of shares, par value, and this is stock. Hang on. But most of them does not really affect the current stockholder because uh, maybe uh, for if you increase the amount of shares. stock shares for the current stockholders, but the, they will not increase the wealth of the stockholders. Yeah. They do get more dividends too, and the yeah. value of the share increases. Yeah, for, but for the stock splits, it really, it really doesn't affect the current stockholders. Just for the company to for them to be able to issue more shares so people will come and buy the same thing. In the arguments for and against the dividend irrelevant to me. Oh, I think I know. Uh, so, uh, Gordon and Linda suggested shareholders prefer a uh, current dividend and that a positive relationship exists between dividends and market value. Uh, Bird in the hand argument suggests that uh, investors are risk averse and attach less risk to current opposed to future dividends or capital gains as current dividends are less risky. Therefore, investors will lower their required returns, thus boosting stock prices. Uh, I think we can answer. We understand this, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now I understand. Wow. Yeah. You are good. All right. Is there anything else at all? I don't know, I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's the issue. Yeah, I see, right. So we just solve it and answer 